Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is John Hutt and today we are gonna have a look into a learning curve of a music producer. So I divided this learning curve in three different stages, a beginner or entry level stage, an advanced stage and a pro stage. And on each stage, there is different steps to help you understand the journey of making a song. It can also help you understand what is coming next in your journey as a music producer. So let's imagine that you are on a beginner or entry level stage, but you wanna be on the advanced or pro stage. So by following this step, practicing and learning as much as you can, you can definitely reach your goals. With that said, let's go right to see this learning curve. Okay, so we are gonna start with the first stage, beginners. So first thing to do is to choose a DAW. In this example, I'm gonna use FL Studio. So first thing, we are gonna go to options and on the option panel, we can see that we can configure the MIDI devices that we have. We can set our audio interface, have a look into some general options like main scaling, language, etc. And we can also set our files and folders for external libraries. The next step is to explore a little bit the different windows that we have. So here on the top menu, we can see the playlist, piano roll, channel rack, mixer, and the browser. So I recommend that you explore a little bit each window. And after that, you are gonna feel a little bit more familiar with the DAW and you can start to create your first idea, which is gonna be the next step. But first, we have to understand that there is so many ways to create ideas. You can just play around with an instrument, you can try to find inspiration with a chord progression, with a melody, with a vocal, etc. But in this example, I'm gonna try to print an idea that I have on mind into the DAW. So first, let's have a listen to the idea that I have on mind. Okay, now I'm gonna try to print the music of my idea into the DAW. So first thing, I'm gonna search for an instrument. And on this stage, I recommend that you explore a little bit the instrument that the DAW offers you. Okay, so I found an acoustic piano and I already print the idea that I have on mine into the piano roll. So let's have a listen. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a basic drum beat. Let's have a listen. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add it into the playlist. Let's have a listen to these two tracks. Okay, it sounds terrible, but at least it's similar to the idea that I have on mine. So first thing that I'm gonna do now is to reduce the BPM. Now I'm gonna find a sound for the different music elements, bass, chords, and melody. In order to do that, I'm simply gonna go to the pattern of the piano and I'm gonna copy the bass line into a bass instrument, the chords into a piano, and the melody into an instrument that fits this melody. Okay, now that we found a sound for the chords, for the melody and for the bass, let's have a listen to how it sounds together. Okay. 
Okay, the next step is gonna be a basic mixing. First thing, I have to send this instrument to an individual channel. And now I'm gonna adjust the volume and add a basic EQ and side chain. Okay, now I'm gonna tweak each individual instrument and try to fine tune. Let's have a listen now. Okay, and the last step on this stage is gonna be to add few extra elements and do a basic arrangement.
Okay, now that we have our basic idea created, let's have a listen to it. <laughs> 